った。Do you like to see some、uh, northern performance from United Korea? Do so, yes, do so. Second, I mean, <laughs> right hand. Okay, good. Then I will invite them to come.、Mm. Uh, from Pyongyang, okay, the dancing artist from Pyongyang. Pyongyang, you know Pyongyang. Do I have to tell you where? <laughs> Here is Korea. <laughs> okay, Seoul,、uh, Taiwan, Korea, Taiwan, Southern China Sea, Taiwan, Korea, Seoul. Pyongyang, <laughs> because they, the the dancing artist troupe, you know Pyongyang troupe, they wrote me a letter.、Yeah. They say they are very touched that I like them, <laughs> that I'm concerned about Korea. So they wanted to come to perform for me free of charge. They even say that free of charge. <laughs> yeah, normally very expensive to invite them, you know. They say free of charge. Oh, I never had anybody offer free of charge before. <laughs> It's me always offer free of charge. <laughs> so I was thinking maybe they should come on the Korean Peace Day, yeah?、Huh? Yeah. You don't have time to come anyway. So we Taiwanese we enjoy three more weeks. Three more weeks. Whoever can stay, you're welcome. Okay, huh? They'll be very happy to come. Free of charge. Imagine that. Very famous troupe from Pyongyang. You know, want to offer me free of charge? The whole troupe, you know, the whole group. A lot of people. <laughs> yeah, very kind people, eh? And we will see them、hmm? if you stay. If not, we only the Taiwanese enjoy everything. Oh, I was there. Today、uh, there was a joke on SMTV, no? The mother come in and say, "You have to go to school now." He say, "I don't want to go to school. Why do I have to go to school?" He say, "Because you are a teacher." <laughs> <laughs> I felt the same sometimes. Why do I have to come here? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. If don't need, can give other people.、Hmm? If don't need, can give to other nuns and monks who need.、Uh, many monks and nuns need, but we cannot take care of everyone. I, I cannot. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know them. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, Mao 也来了啊！那个先生，毛先生也来了。大家好吗？好久不见了啊！嗯，那 OK， very good。啊、oh, ，by the way， is all the food OK？ Yes。Really？ Yes。Wow。Good。Not politely， tell me。Delicious？ Okay。Brown rice。Brown rice。Oh, just brown rice? Ah, <laughs>、uh, vegan chicken? 
Stew. Salad. Salad. Fruit. Fruit. Guava fruit. What else? Soup. Soup. Tofu. Pumpkin soup. Pumpkin soup. Yes. If you're happy, it's good. Mm? Very happy. Uh, and salad also if for the raw people. Huh? If you you need something special, you have to order in advance, okay? Because we don't live very near the city. It takes some time to arrange, yeah? To arrange people to go, arrange to buy, arrange to come back, and arrange to prepare for you. Hmm? As the best is before you come, you already order, you know? Say, okay, I'm special. <laughs> Especially raw. I'm very, very raw. <laughs> I cannot be cooked. <laughs> okay, how I Oh, Jintian Kanturan, hey. Oh, Sishong Nile Laila, Indonesia. And now he looks just the same. <laughs> I mean, same age, just more, more pinky. <laughs> Such a healthy boy. Hai zai zuo na ge dian ying de sheng yi ma? Mei la, tui xiu la. Ah, okay. Before he owned cinema, cinema theater. Yeah, when I first saw him, some 30 years ago, look at him, my God. How old are you now, 40? <laughs> yeah, he looked like 40, 50, no? but it cannot be, right? Can I ask you how old are you? 83. 83? Oh, oh can cut. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. <sighs> Who can change it? Sanshu, no. Busu Sanshu, Ba Su San. Busu San Ba, Ba San. Oh, it's so good. It's still in the same place. Oh, my God, I think of you guys, those vegetables. When I came to that place, the vegetables are the best. I think of it now, I like it. 他们不晓得他们家人煮的好好吃也不是什么很豪华的什么就是那个口味刚好嗯啊很高兴看到你了好久不见了还有你们毛跟那个粥生意都好吗还可以哈还不退休还没小孩都长大了就可以退了吧 那些是旧朋友了，OK？Old，old，friend，yeah，long，time，long，time，ago。These couple from Singapore，and，he，from，Indonesia，yeah，give，a，good，impression，of，their，country，lovely，lovely，people。OK，now，we，go，to，India，you
where to repair, what to do, etc., and have to be on top of it. Like how many people can come now? Or we have to be in Sihu. We have to organize buses. You see what I'm saying? And all that stuff. And have to organize over there too. <laughs> A lot of things. <laughs> Even this seems small, small thing, but all day just small things. <laughs> Nothing else. Yeah. And my dogs also sometimes change uh, assistant and the dog got sick. And until I check it out, they're already sick. Yeah, sometimes too late. And I feel sorry for my dogs that sometimes they, uh, I just have to leave them for someone else to take care, you know. And not everyone bring good energy or healthy kind of atmosphere. Okay, huh? Even though you are initiated, and uh, as you know very well, the past karma, the master power, delete. But the present karma, you must carry on. Otherwise, you cannot live. You must die immediately, if you have no connection with the world at all. Yes. And because you are still connected with family, friends, and all kind of things. Give and take in this world. So we have to carry on this short life for a while. Yeah, whatever we have to do, we have to do. And that's why we need the five precepts. That's why the precepts come in. Otherwise, maybe your karma in this life is already destined to be bad. Yeah? Then you have to rely on the master power also, but your own willpower, the precepts to know what to do. Uh, what's right, what's wrong, so that you control yourself. Yeah, then you take the destiny also in your hands to guide it with the master help into the right direction. So our life is better, mm? even though we cannot help the whole thing. But at least actions, at least action, don't do any harm. At least. Okay, now we take a flight to India. Yesterday. I was talking about uh, the fourth meditation method with the two kings of medicine plus the 500 other Brahman gods who are also helping with the healing process. Any healing things, any healing uh, process or power mostly came from the three worlds because it's a physical body, physical world. Yes, and they control them. Hmm? That's why you, you see that yesterday is included 500 Brahma gods in there. Probably the 500 Brahma gods were also physically present uh, because they, they probably incarnated into the world to help people, to help healing. And these two kings of medicine, they have been doing life after life. Therefore, they have such a powerful healing uh, technique or help to their patient. That's why you can see some doctors are good. Yeah, they have green hands. Some people are some doctors still graduate, same, maybe even excellence, great. But they don't have so much uh, healing uh, ability. I mean, a natural ability, yes. Uh, most doctors, they should not uh, think of themselves as God, <laughs> but the world revere them as God. Yes, the doctors should always pray before they heal. Yes, in India they are such like that. I saw some. I was invited into some doctors' houses. I told you already. Uh, at least one of them I saw is written in the office of the doctor saying, "I prescribe." I mean, the doctor prescribe, but you heal. It should be like that. And remember the story I told you about the Indian boy who wanted to, <laughs> to marry me? Yeah. Just one first glance. Jeez, <laughs> that was fast. I thought the Western style of life is faster, but the Indian, <laughs> they are fast. <laughs> yeah. He was very good looking, yeah, young. I was much older than him. He didn't know. <laughs> but maybe I, don't, I didn't look that old, yeah. 
long hair, you know, shining hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Beautiful walk alone with a white bunjab. <laughs> I think very ice catching. <laughs> He's on the horses, I'm walking. <laughs> Most Indians, they have money, they ride on the horses. Because in the Himalaya trails, we don't have any other vehicles with the machine. Not even motorcycle. In some area, very short distance, maybe, but otherwise it's just climbing and a rocky mountain and small path. Therefore, they hide the horses. And then if the horses cannot go because some are too rough, you know, for the horse even to climb, then they hire these are laborers. Yeah. These are rich people, they do that. But I have, uh, was no rich. <laughs> I walk all the time. <laughs> and I walk alone, yeah. So it probably was eyes catching. So he's young, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then still invite me to the mother, huh? Yeah? Normally, mother is very jealous with any of the girl that the boy wanted to marry. Even marry, not just say, okay, <laughs> let's uh, get to know each other. No, <laughs> it's serious. <laughs> I, I was blushing. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. So I say, I'm still married. I was, <laughs> not divorced yet, but still want to invite me to the house. And she's a doctor, no? The mother is a doctor. She is the one who invited me to the house. She said, nevertheless, come to look at us if you pass by. I said, yeah, if I pass by, I surely do. <laughs> I did visit. And she was very simple housewife, not any air of a doctor or nothing, you know. She sat on the floor with like Indian people, cutting vegetable and throw it out. The rest of the vegetable they don't use is thrown out of the window, just like that. <laughs> chop, chop, chop. <laughs> Good one put on the, the, on the one side. Also on the floor. Yeah, I can wash later, doesn't matter. Floor is good. Floor is clean. I put on one side and the other one just like this. Chop, chop, chop. Put one side, throw out. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter because the cows in India, they roam free. They, they will pass by and eat it anyway. I, in fact, I did see it. I was curious. After she left to something, she so goes to some other room. I peep at the window. I said, oh, there's a cow eating it. <laughs> So there's no ways. It's very cute. <laughs> I didn't stay long. I didn't sleep there. Just passing by, I say hello. And they give me meals. And very hospitable. Very hospitable for the Indian people. You know, even the poor people from the remote area of India, they greet you with a smile and the God's name, you know. Hari, Hari Ram Ram. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God be with you. Uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Ram Ram, they always greet you with that. Yes. But don't ask, don't ask them where you're going because they always say straight ahead. Yeah. <laughs> straight ahead. And if you say something, they always uh, seem like don't agree with you because they say, okay. La. <laughs> they shake their head, but they say, good, good. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> That means yes, right? In India, this means yes. <laughs> for us, this is yes. But for them, this is yes. <laughs> I was very confused. I said, I did say anything wrong? I didn't. <laughs> Why he always disagree with me? <laughs> and if I ask the direction, straight ahead, straight ahead. <laughs> yeah, maybe the rural people, they did not um, learn too much English. So that's the only the few words they know. All you know is straight ahead. Well, that's where you should go, actually. Where would you want to go? Straight ahead, no? <laughs> Very good people, good people. Hmm.